So today is a very special day. Number one, the great preparation is finally over. So we're moving on to the next saga of the series, which means in today's episode, we are going to take on and hopefully destroy the Queen Slime. And then we'll get ready for the mechanical bosses. But today's special for a different reason as well. And I'm going to show you, we have pumpkins in Terraria. I didn't plan them. They're here naturally. And that's because it's now Halloween in Terraria. And the reason why this is so special is because this is the first year ever where Halloween has actually started on the 10th of October. So people can enjoy Halloween for like five days longer or something like that. Or maybe it's, no wait, it's, it's 10 days longer. You can enjoy Halloween. And I love that because I love Halloween in Terraria. There are a few great items that I would recommend to everyone. So we're going to get them today and then we'll move on. But yeah, today's episode is mainly focused on the Queen Slime. Number one, Halloween in Terraria, you're going to buy the cauldron. The cauldron is so cool. It replaces the, uh, the cooking pot and looks way better. Is it also wider? I've never really noticed before. No, wait, is it wide or is it not? Oh, wow, it, it is much larger, right? Those witches, they be brewing. Number two, you gotta grab the cloth ear outfit. Weirdly, this is only available during Halloween and it winds me up, but it is what it is. So you can look like uh, me and join Couch Gang all the way. The Tam is quite cool. Uh, for those who don't know, I have Scottish parents. So I feel very, yeah, I feel good right now. This is a good look. And I guess the other things that you want to grab is probably the little pumpkin seed pet. That's pretty sick. I like a lot of the costumes. Um, but for me, like those items pretty much uh, sum up Halloween. So yeah, like I mentioned earlier, the great preparation is now complete. And, uh, and I was true to my words. I did a bunch of fishing last night. And, um, and we now have enough fish to pretty much make all the, the buffs that we want. So I mainly focused on Hallowed. I focused on Corruption. And then just getting uh, Armored K-Fish. And I think for me, that's... Yeah, that's, that's the core free, right? When you're talking about fish, that's the good bunch. Um, and to answer the question, because I did see some people ask about it. Why didn't I include uh, fishing as part of the great preparation? Because I kind of joked about it yesterday. And I think genuinely, fishing is extremely boring to watch in a Let's Play. But it's only really made salvageable mainly by the fact that uh, when you do crate fishing, you get the excitement of playing the Terraria lottery. So when it's normal fishing, I personally think it's kind of boring to watch. Um, but it was nice. It was very relaxing. I do kind of wish that I'd done it today. Well, the thing is, I didn't know that Halloween was actually on the 10th in Terraria. I knew that they changed the date, but I thought it was the uh, 15th of October, not the uh, not the 10th. And, um, and it would have been better to do it today because I was basically killing enemies every now and again using the, uh, the summon. So uh, maybe we would, we would have had goodie bags, but that's all right. Uh, I'm here real quick, just trying to grab a uh, an alchemy table. I came here a second ago and died. Um, so I'm not really, like, I'm not that committed to getting it. The funny thing is, hey, there's a water bolt there. The funny thing is, we got a great comment yesterday that was like, I can guarantee that James will defeat the Moon Lord before he gets the alchemy table. And, uh, and you seem to be correct, because I'm not that set on it. Not now that I've got loads of buffs. Like, it doesn't really matter. I got loads of fish. All good to go. But for real, can we just buy one of these from the, the wizard, please? Can somebody make that into a mod? I feel like every little thing in Terraria that's like slightly off, I'm like, we need a mod. That's what mods are for. And do you know what, though? Honestly, we are really so lucky with, with T-Mod Loader. I can't remember if I brought this up, but I played like a little bit of a Stardew Valley modding for uh, some background footage for a chippy gaming video. And I had to install 20 files for one mod. We're blessed. We're very blessed. 
All right, well, um, since I haven't got that, <laughs> we're, we're swiftly moving on. Uh, let's do, like, just a small little bit of uh, crafting. So I think the first thing that we need to make is the holy arrows. Yeah, we need we need the holy arrows. I did actually uh, adjust the arena as well so that it's a little bit more efficient. You know how, and once again, I can't remember if I cut this or spoke about this, but in my little arena yesterday, the little lava one, the the side part wasn't smoothed out so um so basically the the pixies were getting caught i've uh i solved that now and uh, it's a lot better it's a lot nicer um so let me grab some of this let me grab some of this we'll make the uh the holy arrows and with that we're almost ready to go the only thing i've got to do as well uh which i got a lot of comments reminding me about is, uh, is reforging the, the Daedalus Stormboat because it's not very good. It's sluggish. And I don't like sluggish. As we can tell from uh, yesterday's episode, it's not great to be sluggish. This is the thing, right? I cut so much out of yesterday's episode. It was a bit of a weird one. But I basically cut out the first half because I was so tired. Every time I would, like, speak for a couple of seconds, I would start to, like, really mumble or just, like, miss uh, letters out of words. <laughs> So it didn't sound very good. Right, I'm gonna go with a uh, murderer simply because I don't want to spend the the extra money This is our current accessories. We do have the the summoners emblem We probably should change it, but if I do rock two summons, maybe it could be pretty decent I don't know. Is it a sin to have a, a summoners emblem while doing ranger? Probably so. Let's be real So I'm gonna wait until daytime and then I think the area where I'm going to fight it is actually just going to be inside of the, the Dungeon Brick Arena. The good thing about the uh, Queen Slime is that you can start it in the Hallowed, but you can take it anywhere you want in the world. So we have Hallowed right next to it. So it's like pretty much the perfect spot because we already have the, the big open space and we know that it's clear. Because I find for this fight, the trick is really just... Um, just flying around, if I'm being honest. You know, if you want to get up close, you know, whip out the summoner's whip. It's a lot harder. Not really worth it. So, you know the other day how I said that I actually quite like plums. I'm taking that back, right? I don't. I'm going to be honest, right? Plums are, are the bane of my life right now. So, I'm on my little diet and I went out and I bought some fruit. And when I went to Tesco, they had the plum section which was just filled with plums and they come in this box that has a big label on them that's called ripen at home plums which basically means hey we're selling plums that aren't ripe go take them home maybe in a while you can enjoy them and i thought all right this seems like a bit of a time commitment but i'll do it right i'll ripen these plums at home and then it's been like five days and they're as solid as a brick. And I want to eat them. And it's... I want to... I don't I don't think you should have commitment when it comes to, to food like that, right? If you're wondering why I just brought that up just then, I went downstairs because I was a bit peckish. And I was like, oh, I'll have, a, I'll have a plum. I bet they're ready by now. No, they're bricks. They're absolute bricks. Um, so yeah, this is the perk of uh, fishing. Endurance, wrath, and, uh, and life force. But the thing with endurance is that uh, people don't even really uh, recommend it for this seed. So I think it's more like... Um, I don't know, to be honest. <laughs> I'm going to be... Like, if... if hmm, It's odd, right? So are, are buffs really that good when you die in one hit? No. But will we die in one hit to this? I don't know. Maybe we will. Maybe we won't. One of the good things about doing all the farming yesterday as well. Oh, actually, I want to do that now. I wanted to uh, to to use the last uh, key that I made. So let's do that now. Mainly because um, we can sell whatever loot we get. So it's like there's a benefit of doing it. God, I love Halloween so much. I've been I, I actually recently started playing Animal Crossing again just because of the the Halloween event. So pretty much my new routine is after work's done, I go on Animal Crossing and I buy, because you can buy like one candy per day, like a hard boiled sweet. So you can buy a hard boiled sweet, uh, one per day. And, uh, and there's also like a new furniture piece every day in the shop. So I go on mainly to, to check out what that's about. 
the Halloween theme stuff. But I also found that if you go to your villagers houses, they can give you recipes for um Hey, look at that. We got a, a goodie bag from it. That's kind of cute. That's nice. Yeah, I found out that you can get um like recipes for Halloween items. So I'm pretty pumped about that. And then I uh, I basically water and grow my uh, pumpkins. They haven't grown in yet, but I'm growing like a hundred of them. So every day I, I come on and treat it kind of like Stardew Valley. All right, we are good to go. Let's open this up anyway. So this is the first one of the year. I guarantee it's rotten eggs. Bam. Oh, no way. All right. So, uh, so you may have seen yesterday that I posted a ray tracing Minecraft video for Chippy Gaming, doing something a little bit different. And look at that. The first thing that we get is the creeper costume. I'm going to call that fate. <laughs> I really like that. Okay. So let's, uh, let's go over to the, um, to the hallowed. The best thing about this, seriously, is just the fact that if we mess this up, getting another summon for this will not take long. Right, where's she at? She's over here. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the... Um, I was going to say, we're either going to get into this arena or we're just going to use the uh, Rod of Discord. But it seems like we don't even have to. The great preparation was worth it for this. Because we are absolutely owning this. So Crab Bar put out a video yesterday uh, basically going over the mount that she drops. His video title was... Uh, I think it was the best mount in Terraria 1.4 that you'll never use. And it's so funny because I watched the whole video and I was learning about all the benefits. And at the end, I thought, yeah, do you know what? Honestly, you're right. I'll never use it. Nobody will ever use uh, a mount for movement unless they're just specifically trying to challenge themselves. But I feel like the mount was implemented as a way of going, hey, you know, you don't have to use all these uh, movement accessories. You could just simply use, uh, you could use this. But nobody will. Very, uh... Very self-aware crab bar. I love that. <laughs> it's, a, it's a wicked title. And it was a really good video as well. So if you haven't checked out crab bar before, I would highly recommend it. So the cool thing about it being Halloween with the natural pumpkins is that uh, I think personally it's a great reminder to do the uh, pumpkin moon event at the right time. Because sometimes I struggle with it. Sometimes I uh, completely forget to, to even do it. If it's not like directly in my face... Um, I think, yeah, I think it's very easy to be like, all right, I'll just do, um, Plantera, then Golem, and then, oh, all right, it's Lunatic Cultist time, and you skip it. But I think with the natural pumpkins, because you don't have to go out your way to, uh, to grow them, you know, it is, it's definitely more in your face. So I think even if we don't really have to, we'll do the, uh, Pumpkin Moon just for the, uh, for the spooky vibes. I am feeling them, though. I've watched, um, all of the Tree Houses of Horrors for, for The Simpsons. Uh, I've watched Halloween Town 1 and 2. Me and Court are going to check out Hocus Pocus this weekend. I'm pretty excited about that. I do actually really like Hocus Pocus. It's not one that I uh, grew up watching. I think I probably first watched it about 2-3 years ago. But now it's uh, a Halloween staple and it's here to stay. At least in my household. The good little thing about doing the Queen Slime, by the way, is just that you kill all the little minions. And, uh, and the little minions give you uh, treasure bags if you're lucky. So, um... So that's a perk. All right, here's the, the actual fun part of the fight when it starts to fly around. I think the first half is, um, I don't know. I do find it a little bit more boring. This is definitely where it's going to actually get challenging. So it's it's important to remember that we are in a feather worthy. I'm going to be real with you. Because this is a boss I fought so little, um, I, I've kind of gone into this and just kind of forgot that this is meant to be a, a more challenging version. So I don't actually know what it changes uh, at all. My assumption is... Ooh, I think my, my assumption is that it's probably faster. I kind of want to look it up. This is the thing. I, I know so little about the original. I, I can't spot the changes. Let's have a little look. Queen Slime. This is why I always keep my phone next to me when I record. <laughs> okay. So... Ah, right. Okay, so they don't put it on the Wikipedia page for... All right, no, they do. If the world is using the Feather Worthy Seed, Queen's Slime AI is changed as follows. She fires volley of eight regal gels in the first phase and 15 in the second. The orientation of the regal gel attack is randomized. Her stomp attack is much faster. All right, okay. That's kind of exciting, to be honest. Um, mainly just because... 
you know, I, I did kind of go into it just thinking it was a normal fight. So it's nice to be like, okay, it's a little bit different. So we need to go and find uh, another summoning device. But the thing is, genuinely, they're so nice to find. Um, and we've probably got tons of them because we've been on the world quite a bit in uh, in hard mode. So I'm not sure if this is a 200 IQ or just like a complete miscalculation. But does the Royal Gel work on her summons? Because it kind of makes sense that it would because they are technically slimes. But does it though? I kind of want to find out for science, but I also want to get a win. So I don't really want to push it. But I was trying to think of uh, of what we can do to, to be a little bit better for this uh, this next fight. And I think for me personally, where I was lacking was uh, was movement. I feel like I just wasn't evading her in the correct way. So I think what I'll probably do is in the second phase, I will uh, actually move out of that little box so that I don't feel so confined and then drag the fight throughout the whole world and see if that works. Um, but this could be really good. So I think what I'm going to do is swap over from the summoner's emblem to the uh, the cloud in a balloon, since that's probably better. So one of my favorite new trends, by the way, is that people now actually tweet me whenever they have the breakfast of champions. And even though I am on my little diet, I love it. Keep it up. It's great. And it's funny because, you know, the breakfast of champions is simply birthday cake. But birthday cake can be interpreted in a lot of ways. So we've had coconut cake, we've had vanilla cake, we had a slice of apple pie the other day, uh, chocolate cake, fudge cake, there's a lot of different cakes, lemon drizzle. So I like that for every person it, it alters slightly and I think that's kind of cool. Also, the moment I start talking I get a bunch of unicorns because I was about to say Christ, I'm getting really bored of uh, being sat here because these unicorns never spawn in. Somebody told me, by the way, that swiftness doesn't work anymore because we have the uh, the lightning boots. Please confirm, Wiki Gang, is that actually true? Does swiftness stop working once you have better boots? Because it seems correct, but it also seems wrong at the exact same time. But my knowledge of Terraria isn't the greatest, so I could believe either way. Um, yeah, we're good to go, I think. Yeah, good to go. Oh, what was the other thing I wanted to grab? Oh, I wanted to grab some plums, even though they're the enemy of the day. And I'll also grab uh, archery as well. All right, let's, uh, let's do this. I'm honestly really excited for a big win. And it's weird, honestly, because uh, I really was going into the other fight and just treating it like a, a normal queen slime. And then once I realized, oh yeah, I'm in Featherworthy, it was so different. I think then I started to get a little bit more nervous, to be completely honest. All right, let's begin. She's arriving. I'm assuming, where's she at? All right, she's down there in the water. Not good enough, Queen Slime. Let's see. All right, okay, she's teleported to here. So I think even just having the archery potion, having, um, what is it? 20% increased arrow speed and damage. The fact that I didn't have that before is, is really bad. I do seriously want to test if the royal gel works as well. Like, I'm really curious now. It does seem like the thing that would work. And if you could cut out a bunch of that initial damage at the start of the fight, if you're not so good at that portion, that could be an actual game changer. It's weird to think about. So hopefully my summons are, you know, taking away from my actual damage. I, I really do never know when, when that's the case or not. So this is a, a fairly long fight. So it's going to be kind of hard to, to commentate over. So one thing I will say is, um, and I did speak about this yesterday as well, but seriously, thank you for the uh, the love on the, the chippy gaming stuff. Um, it's not as highly viewed as our other content, which is, you know, self-explanatory. But the feedback, and to me, like, it's great. And to me, that really is the most important part. It's the same way I run a chippy's couch, you know. If the comments are great, you know, I feel like the video has been a success. But I've already started uh, initiating the plan to, to make the videos a little bit more personal and a little bit more Chippy's Couch. That's that's my goal. And it's nice as well because we're getting 1.4.1. 1. 1. 
pretty soon. And uh, and it's been a, a fun way to, to kind of tide me over until then. Because I, I'm more interested in Let's Playing at the minute than I am about making singular Terraria content that isn't necessarily news. So, um, so it's been nice. Yeah. Oh, wow, look at that. Skeletron and the uh, Terraria tree. Okay, that's cool. So, like, just then we took a bunch of damage from those little uh, spiked slimes. I wonder if we'd, uh, if we'd had that royal gel. If you could negate that. Because that's a fair chunk of damage, you know? All right. So, this is where uh, we're changing the uh, setup up. So, we're going for Daedalus Stormbow. And we are moving throughout the world, basically. Rather than uh, staying uh, stagnant. Which, looking at it now, doesn't seem the best idea. God, it really is fast. Maybe this is something we should do as well. Just keep flicking between the two. I think that might actually work for us. You know, just kind of um, moving about a bit like this. I feel like I'm playing modded Terraria and I love it. This is probably the peak of feeling like modded Terraria because this boss to me feels like it was made by a, a mod developer. Which I think is a good thing, you know? I think it all kind of comes into the history of Terraria's development as well. Like, uh, Eraser, who is the lead developer for Terraria now, started as a uh, as a mod developer. So that, like, similarity there is is probably why we're seeing, um, you know, some modded fiend items in 1.4. At least I think so. I don't fully know. Um, oh, God, do you know what I miss so much? I miss my uh, Rod of Discord uh, cooldown mods that somebody made for us. That was ace. <laughs> that was really, really good. Okay. Surprisingly, I'm actually doing all right with the Rod of Discord. I really did kind of think I would uh, bottle it a little bit. Because I haven't got that timer mod. All right, let's go up here. This is going perfect. I'm really liking this. This is good. <laughs> For a little while, I actually did kind of think, oh god, like, are we actually going to be able to beat this today? Like, when we did the first one, and it was such a, a shake-up, and I had the realization about, oh yeah, Feather Worthy, I thought, I don't know. I think this is going to be it. Let's see the end together. Hey, why does it make that sound? Because I'll never understand it. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. All right, so what we need to do now is we need to uh, to check about a little bit. Right, I want to go to the left. Because I really want to see if we manage to grab any uh, goodie bags. I don't think there is. I think I think we've been kind of um, screwed out of it. Not great. All right, well, um, let's go back home. And I'm going to go to sleep and actually wait until it's uh, daytime. Because I really want to show off the new, um, the new relic. But I don't really want to look at it while it's uh, super dark. All right, so uh, let's check out what's, uh, what's inside. Bam. There we go. We got uh, two pieces of the crystal assassin armor. Sounds great. And, uh, and that's pretty much it. Uh, we got the volatile gelatin, which releases uh, gelatin periodically that damages enemies. We got the... Uh, the <laughs> we got this. I, I really wonder, does Belle Delphine know that she's in Terraria? Like, does she realize that her, like, cultural impact has reached a nine-year-old indie game? Because I think that's, you know, it's kind of cool. I mean, good for her. <laughs> like, <laughs> I had to make Terraria for nine years. Uh, <laughs> Terraria videos for nine years to get my item. Belle Delphine's got hers, just like that. <laughs> okay, well, we'll throw this around. This... It's such a weird item. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's just basically meant to be a, uh, a counterpart to the King Slime Drop, but still, like, what is this? Okay. Uh, yeah, so we're going to round things up there. Oh, I didn't put down the relic. Bam. Nice. Looking good. Uh, one thing I am going to do, if I remember, try hold me accountable to this. I want to make a, a Halloween build out of just a pumpkin and stuff. Um, because, I, you know, I want to, like, get into the spooky theme. So we'll do uh, a pumpkin build soon so i'll probably just go through the world grab all the pumpkins and uh and that'd be good all right okay have a great day everyone i will see you all in the next one shout out as always to our channel members that are rolling by on screen right now if you are a returning person make sure you are giving the video a big fat thumbs up every single day uh, if you like these and you want to see more and you want to get them faster make sure to enable notifications and then finally, if you like this and you're brand new, subscribe. That'd be great. Okay. Have a great day, everyone. And I will see you all. Ooh. Oh, real quick. 
I'll probably see you tomorrow, but I might not because I might take a day off since I've done a lot of videos this week. Um, but with that being said, I think next week is going to be a pretty important week. Uh, I've got some big projects that I want to make. So, um, so that's going to be real exciting. Uh, if I don't do those big projects, we will probably do the second part of the Harry Potter stream next week. Um, but if something uh, big happens, you know, if I start working on a bigger project, I'll push that back to the week after. But I do really want to finish it because I loved it. Um, but, you know, that's something that we can stick on the back burner. But it is really cool and I do want to do more. And also the people that made the Harry Potter mod commented on the video and they were super sweet and I love them very much. Right. Bye.